In this lecture, let's learn about another angular life cycle hook called as ng after view init. This ng after view init life cycle hook, it gets called after ng after content checked hook. And the ng after view init hook is called after the components view template and all its child components view template are fully initialized. Let's try to understand this with an example. So currently we are working with demo component. If we go to the view template of this demo component, there we have a div element and in that div we have a paragraph element. We are not using any child component here. So when all these HTML elements will be initialized, then the ng after view init lifecycle hook for this demo component will be called. Now, if we have a child component which we are using inside this component, in that case, once the components view template and all its child components view template is initialized, after that only ng after view init lifecycle hook will be called. So in the demo component.ts, let's go ahead and let's also implement ng after view init lifecycle hook. And this hook is provided by after view init interface. And in order to use this after view init interface, we also need to import it from angular slash co. Now let's scroll down and inside this ng after view init lifecycle hook, let's go ahead and let's write a console.log statement. And there let's say ng after view init hook called. So again, this ng after view init lifecycle hook, this will be called after the view template of the component and the view template of all its child component has been initialized. If you save the changes, if you go to the web page, let's open developer console. And here you will notice that ng after view init hook has been called. And just like ng after content in it, this ng after view init hook, this also gets called only once, that is during the first change detection cycle when the component is created. After that, if the view changes, this ng after view init will not get called. Angular also updates the properties decorated with view child and view children decorator before raising this ng after view init hook. So in this demo component class, we have a property called tempera, which is decorated with view child decorator. So this tempera, this property will be assigned with the reference of a DOM element just before the ng after view init lifecycle hook gets called. So inside this tempera property, let's say from the view template, so let's go to the view template here. In there, we have this paragraph element where we are using this temp template reference variable and we are passing this template reference variable as a selector to this view child. So this tempera, it should be assigned with a reference to this paragraph element. But that assignment, that initialization, that will happen just before the ng after view init lifecycle hook gets called. So if we try to log the value of this temp para before this ng after view init lifecycle hook gets called. So for example, let's say I'm going to log its value in ng after content checked lifecycle hook. Okay, so let me try to log it here. And for now, let me remove this native element property. And let's also try to log it inside the ng after view init. So we learned that the properties decorated with at view child or at view children, they will be initialized just before this ng after view init lifecycle hook gets called. So before that, this ng after content check lifecycle hook will also get called. But by that time, this temp para will not be initialized. So this will be undefined when we are logging it inside this ng after content check. But when we are logging it inside this ng after view in it, by that time, this temp para should be initialized. Let me copy this name and let's specify it here. And I'll go ahead and I will comment other console.log statements. Okay. All right, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And you will notice that ng after content checked hook has been called. In there, when we are logging the value of tempera, it is undefined. Here you can see it. After that, ng after view init hook has been called. 
and in there when we are logging the value of temp para it has logged this element ref and that element ref it is storing a reference to that paragraph element basically this paragraph element so keep in mind that angular updates the properties decorated with at view child and at view children decorator just before raising this ng after view init lifecycle hook and this hook is called during the first change detection cycle when angular initializes the view for the first time after that if the view changes this ng after view init hook will not get called and by the time this hook gets called for a component all the lifecycle hook methods of the child component and directives are completely processed and child components are completely ready in simple words let's say we have a component called a and in that component a we are using two child components component b and component c so this ng after view init lifecycle hook it will be called only after all the lifecycle hooks of component b and component c has been executed and the components and directives are completely ready let's see this practically so this demo component it is a child component of app component so what i will do is i'll copy this ng after view init lifecycle hook and i'll paste it inside this app component class okay now here we don't have this temp para let me remove this console.log statement from here and here let's say ng view init hook of app component called now what we have learned is this ng after view init of a component will be called only after all the lifecycle hooks of its child component has been executed let's see if that's the case so if you go to the web page so you see app component constructor called ng after content checked hook called so this is coming from demo component then ng after view init hook called this is also coming from demo component and after that only the ng after view init hook of app component has been called now in the demo component we have commented some of the lifecycle hook console statements so for example i'll go ahead and i will uncomment them just to see how we get the result okay and i'll not uncomment this console.log statement from the constructor okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you will notice that ng on changes hook is called from the demo component ng on init hook has been called from the demo component ng do check hook has been called from the demo component ng after content init hook is called from the demo component ng after content checked hook is called from the demo component and ng after view init hook has been called from the demo component and after that only ng after view init hook of app component has been called so keep in mind that by the time this ng after view init lifecycle hook gets called by that time all the lifecycle hook methods of the child component and directives are completely processed and child components are completely ready now again the very important point to note about ng after view init is that it is also a component only hook you cannot use it on a directive so this is all about ng after view init lifecycle hook if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day